All right, so how do we get the ID that the user is giving us, all right? Because this is very important. And this is when we talk about the theory of the GraphQL resolvers. The GraphQL resolvers are called by the wonderful GraphQL server, okay? Whenever the GraphQL server sees a, a definition, a query or a mutation of anything, he is going to look for the resolver and is going to execute that function. But is going to give him some arguments here that we can fuck around with. The first one is literally not important right now, is object, which gives you the current object, is useless, so we're gonna do this. But here inside they give you arguments, all right? And I want you guys to see console log the arguments, all right? That's it. I want to see you, I want to show you the arguments. So we're going to come here and we're going to call the query person. So I'm going to make a new one, person, and person requires, let's see, an ID. It should be an int. So ID and it should be an int. It shouldn't be a string. It should be an int. One. Okay. And they know that per, uh, person returns a type of person. So I need to select something that I want back. Let me get the name, all right? If I do this, it says person no. It's not crying, it's not complaining because it's not necessary to return a person. I didn't do this, all right? I left like that. But as you can see here, we console locked the ID on the arguments, okay? So GraphQL is calling your resolver with the arguments that you have here. As you can see, this approach is so much better than the REST or Express or Django approach, which is like you have to have the URL and the URL has to have parameters or you have to send the form data and then you have to parse the body and the request object and all that stuff. This is all, this is all done for you. This is all magic, all right? So I'm going to do this, which is the same as doing args.id, all right? So I'm going to do get by ID. I'm just going to return get by ID. I'm gonna get by ID with the ID this. That's it. Let's see what happens. Save it. And now I get by ID, ID number one. Let's refresh. What happened? Person, 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 zero, 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 one. Ah, my database is not working. Let me save this. Get by ID, filtered people, people, filter, person, people, person, ah, person, malaka, person that ID equals ID, done. All right, I think I know what it is, and it's because this is a string. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna say string. So now it should work. Because here, uh, person ID is a string and the ID is a number. So that's it. Yay, it works now. So when I get the ID number one, I send it and now I filter it and now I get the ID number one. Now I also, of course, I can always select more stuff only for the ID number one, okay? So here, I'm getting all of them. And here, I'm just getting one. But what happens when I search for the ID number 10? Nothing happens. I don't find it, but it's not complaining. If I was going to do something like this, this means I'm saying that this request must always return a person. And in some cases, it just won't, right? Some cases, it just won't. And it says, I'm returning no, but I can't, all right? That is it. So this is the gist. This is what GraphQL is about, okay? I hope that you get it by now. It's just very simple. You are defining how your data looks like in the operations. All right, and then you are making functions that will resolve these operations, these questions. And you can have any kind of backend that you like, like any kind of backend that you want. It doesn't matter. All right. Now I'm going to change this a bit. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna get a big array of uh, movies. I'm gonna get these movies for some API, or whatever. I'm gonna copy paste them here. All right, and then I'm gonna make some functions, stupid functions, to get by ID, get by, I don't know, author, 
um, and create a new movie, for example, that will be a mutation. But for now, I think this is good enough, and I hope you get it by now. Uh, just remember, it's all about describing what is going to happen, right? Describe what is going to happen, and then make it happen with your functions. Remember, the resolvers could be anything, all right? Anything. It could be anything. It could be you go to a different API, or you have the database basically here, or you have an actual database, or whatever, all right? That will be the resolvers. So if we, may, if we put this into Django or like normal REST API, um, it's hard, but basically the resolvers are like the view, kind of, and the schema is like the URLs because it points you where, I don't know. But as you can see, this is so much better. Person ID int, and you get here person ID int. It's just fucking amazing, all right? Uh, that's it for this video. I hope I see you on the next one. Bye-bye.